All right, so here we go. We're back to it. sort of garbage dump. For now, let's just focus on getting out of here. Ooh. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh, oh, that is sweet. That is very sweet. Hey, fuck. <laughs> I like this menuing system. This is nice. So I was talking with some friends on Discord and one of them mentioned how they wanted the next Persona game to be more focused on adults, which would be interesting. But I'm not sure they would do that because of, well... Mm. When you're an adult, it's kind of things have to be worked out for you. So the reason, it'd be kind of harder to do that. But well, let's see what they do. Huh? Black box? What? Uh oh, what do we do? Interesting hair. What is this place? Who are you? You are a phantom thief? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Correct. That means I make for a good companion to people. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? What is it, Joker? Oh boy. Gotta finally accept it being a cat. <laughs> like to say, don't try a cat. Uh, 
Ugh, oh, this, this particular entry in the series is just gold. by that Alice girl too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories. So I do not know. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, you two. Come here for a second. Okay. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories? She came out of a giant box? Crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Nope. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you... If you're in trouble, I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So, you wanna help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh, we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would? Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for a way out of here. Huh? Hey, don't go out there alone! What now, Joker? Right. She might be able to get us out of this dump. Are you sure about that? Still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows. Oh crap, too late. Get behind us, Sophia! Where the hell did they come from? Nobody's gonna join us if we go down here. Let's get Ah, nice. Woo. We got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we are the Phantom Thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders they want to eliminate. The Phantom Thieves. That's really cool. That's what you have to say? Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. You want to help us? Let's all go together. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> All right, you're weird, but I guess you really do want to help. It's your call, Joker. Okay, that sounds nice, Joker. Along with the hat and the skeleton. But I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for Skullington now. No, wait, just because I look like this doesn't make me a cat. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I am not doing it. I don't care. Somebody else can do that, not me. Not you too, man. I'm Skull. Don't screw it up. And I'm Mona, okay? Don't you forget it. What has upset you? Careful. We'd be fine, but we don't want to endanger Sophia. Try staying out of sight. Focus. Wait, a shadow. Ah. Uh. around we've got Sophia with us we should just avoid it if we can are you saying that's in your way yeah 
can't escape unless we get past here. Okay, I've got it. Huh? Got what? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, wait up! <laughs> Who are you? Intruders! Oh. Whoa. Wow. Shit, she just beat him. No way. Is that a persona? Interesting. What are you doing? I am helping the Phantom Thieves. Don't take it personally. What the? Wait, wait, wait. You're so effing strong. You should have told us right away you could fight. But you never asked. Not just that, but your clothes. What in the world? It's completely different from our own transformations. I copied what you do and ended up like this. Yeah, this ain't just about the clothes. Uh, are you some kind of persona user? Persona? The things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to fight. Sophia, just what in the world are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Yeah, we already heard that one. There's still just too much we don't know. But we don't have the time to figure it out now either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophia? Okay, I got it. Right. You'll be counting on me. Well, let's move. Lead the way, Shorty. Understood. Now that I, met, now that I realize she is Listen, very short. Keep track of how you're holding up. Do you need any healing items? Hmm. Nice. First. Shadow, as far as I know. Keep it moving. Hey, a treasure chest. Come on, let's check it out. Hey, Joker, what did you find? This is nice. Check anything suspiciously. I know what you might find. Hmm. Ooh. What's inside, Joker? I'm liking this kind of fusion of an old exploration mixed with this, mixed with the Dicey Warriors, like, movement style. It's very nice. You know, I'll admit, when I first heard of Persona 5 Strikers, like, I saw the original videos of the Japanese release. I've seen some of them. I never saw the gameplay because I knew this was going to come out for the U.S. because Persona's being big in the U.S. So I was just waiting for it to be released before I really did anything. Shadows incoming! A whole load of them! Get ready! There are more ways to target an enemy's weakness than skills alone, remember? Yeah. 
Shadows ahead. They haven't spotted us yet. Should I wipe them out for you? Here's a tip on us phantom thieves. We avoid charging headfirst into battle whenever possible. Let's try those stairs for now. <laughs> Pythos, a light element. Interesting. We won. Don't celebrate just yet. Are we in a dead end? There. If we climb there, we can proceed. Guess there's no other option. Interesting that she's the light elemental for this. Shadows form and power into a mask, turning it into a persona. Oh, in 
interesting. Let's go. Okay. Pixie, our set. Pixie, our set. Okay. So it seems now that uh, okay. Arsona! So originally, no, it looks like it's still there. Okay. Pixie. But it seems that personas are now based on certain elements. Interesting. Okay. So basically. Persona. Arsene is dark elemental, but he still has the same weaknesses from before. Pixie. And she's like a heal elemental. Or is it maybe what they mostly use? What their main thing is, Arsene. I guess. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out later. Enemy ahead. Joker, try that persona you just got. Ah, yes, Michael. Interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. Hang on. It looks like this is the exit. Oh, hell yes. Let's get our asses out of here. This leads further inward. Should we investigate? Nah. We should focus on our escape. Wait a minute. Where was that? Oh, okay, that's okay, never mind. That's okay, never mind. <sighs> we finally made it out. This is still the metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? Uh... Hmm. I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? I suddenly knew it. Like... Seriously? The exit is close. Follow me. 
her deal. Uh, I don't know, but we need to move it. Is this the way out you mentioned, Sophia? Yes. This is what I had detected previously. Uh, and it is? It's fine. It leads outside. Leads outside? Everything will get all... For a moment, but then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? How do you know we'll be okay? Trust me, Joker. Can I? Can I? <laughs> the sound effects she makes, I just, I, 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 I have no words to explain the absurdity and hilariousness of her sound effect. Oh my god. I didn't think this game, I didn't think this could top Persona 5's humor, but it just did. I'm glad you're willing to trust me. Hmm. Looks like we've only got one option here. Huh? Ain't you coming too? I... What should I do? Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. This place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But... Jeez, what's it gonna take? See, I don't think they guess she's a robot. What are you doing? Or at least... We don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. I don't think it's gonna work as you guys so you think it will. you want me to come with you? Okay. Well, here it goes. One, two. <laughs> it literally goes wow, wow, wow. This is the real world, right? Yep, looks like we're back, all right. <laughs> they use her. You have they successfully use... returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on, Sophia, where'd she go? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty, get your ass over here. that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Huh. Where is she? I'm in front of you, inside Joker's phone. Oh! <laughs> floating head. Yo! Ah. Oh, she just popped up! Oh! Did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me. But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? So you really weren't a raccoon. I already told you that. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I? Because I am an AI. An AI? A, uh, uh, that's that smart thing, right? Futaba told us all about it. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? I have your phone to thank for that. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. His scent? Who are you, Morgana? 
So since she's an AI, she turned into data when she came to this world. That mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the energy for the group chat today. Anyway, it's a big relief knowing you made it out of there safely. Hey, but what, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still, you know... I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Me too, but if we charge in without a plan, we're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. You're right. Talking about this here is no good. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet and learned a great many things. But my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? That sounds good. Also, introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over, especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. That sounds Futaba. pretty fun. <laughs> Futaba's gonna have a field day with this. I see. You're saying you entered the Metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. See? Even he says so. We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Yo, Phantom Thieves! <sighs> Whoa, what is that? I am Sophia. Humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's humming to herself? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. You <laughs> feel the charm, the pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? Oh, Fox, ever. So, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. <laughs> That's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help out with my family's company. I'm on to Kamiki. I'm a third year in high school, and I do some modeling, too. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? I'm Kitaba Sakura, and I kind of suck at socializing, but I want to be friends and stuff. Ah, you did great, Kitaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Kitaba, <laughs> Haru, An, Yusuke, and Kitaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. 
Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Show me, show me. Oh, God. Get down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. Could you have the AI version of amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah, she was calling herself the queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's where this comes in. You mean Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! That you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? Good point. There's no progressing any further unless we see it with our own eyes. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Right, we've got our mission. Very well. I look forward to seeing this jail. Say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code! You promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna be the info dump of a lifetime! I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. Ah, man. If this is what happens when we get back together, Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. Huh? huh? What is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Our barbecue extravaganza? Extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. Oh. I'm about to slice you to ribbons. <laughs> you can't... Slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. <laughs> oh man, Yusuke is mad. That's a rarity. Sophia's code look. Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, not just their skill level. 
their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Ooh, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something mm. was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Talk about mm. teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? <sighs> Nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep tracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Ah, uh, cut me some slack. I'm in vacay mode! You may be in vacay mode, well, we folks, still need you. Time for me to make like a tree. And leave. <laughs> she made like a tree? And leave. <laughs> oh man, I remember my mom used to say it all the time. Boy, was that a hell of a day. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. You're a real standout. But that just might mean you're going to see some trouble again soon. Alice, Emma, this new metaverse, a mountain of mystery sure is piling up fast. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Eh, uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Huh? Why are you so hard on yourself? At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? You're right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people. And be a good companion to them. I guess. The human heart. Look, just just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay. That is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our league. Oh boy, looks like I'm gonna have to get this game for real. Thank you, leader, boss, captain. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. So our car is Fiona then. Now think about it, would they have the social links in this? I don't think it would work. Well, let's see what Koei does. This is like got Koei's hand all over it. Great, everyone's here. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> Yeah, bro! Bring it! We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? 
Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing. Alright. Welcome back, Fancy Thieves. Well, did we make it? Oh, we're Phantom Thief attire. Yeah, you too. I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. <laughs> Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! Let's not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. <laughs> we can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers! Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. First time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! <laughs> Fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. Oh, I've never seen an outfit like that. Can I try flipping it? Flipping? <laughs> I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. <laughs> no flooping. Oh, my, my. How does age work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow is the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta hmm. say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? 
This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No. That was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves, or we'll just be doing damage. We can try, but you really think we can just stumble on them like that? Maybe if we look into people who have changed recently, we could get some leads? Let's say we get into that once we're out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. <sighs> I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Oh. Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah, way to go, Lady On. But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they all looked. <laughs> well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Give that was shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. Ooh, you really are ready for this. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees us. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Oh, this is much different. This is different from uh, Persona 5. And Persona 5 more now. Thank you. 
God, Koi, you really threw shade to Yakuza? I said I could hear rumors at shops, but I go to a shop, nothing happens. Interesting. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? That's true. So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means, the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, 
Like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. Mm. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. Is that? Is that cop? Boss, this curry is fantastic. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> so he likes his curry, huh? So this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? <laughs> I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Shouldn't I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No problem. Oh, here she comes. In the bag. God, that outfit is just. Oh, she really is adorable. Riding back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in the shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? Uh, 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 what? Uh, 
What the heck? What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. Are you okay? Alice. Uh, um. I love you, Alice. Please spend your life with me. What? <laughs> huh? Hey. What is all this? His shadow just got his desires taken at this exact moment. Smug smirk. Oh, she knows what's going on. All right, that makes it personal. That—that that was actually live on TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then, do you think? That host had his desire taken by Alice? Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like, he wasn't even there. Someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... Yeah. Looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talky head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice... Do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why. But after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Ah, please! I'm sorry! Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! And beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. 
I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, bet. Do it, do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Uh, and who is this? too far you said you wanted to be a ray of light for people how the hell does that help uh. oh <laughs> we were just playing around weren't we yeah so you'll go get the car now Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Like I said, we were just playing around. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. That's a bummer, but I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? Because I'm going to beat the absolute out snot out of you. Here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady Anne. Once Lady Anne had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Is it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. Ugh, she seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? Ah, I see. I see why she was abandoned. I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where's the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. 
We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? Mm -hmm. I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. Mm. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. Why not? I'm sure she'll be a great help to us. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like we've got a new member. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's flowing. <laughs> oh, God. Her name. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human like than when we first met you. I'm constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Oh dear. Don't pick up any off putting lingo, okay? Okay, so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became Phantom Thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. We may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as Phantom Thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. <gasps> huh. Okay. Okay. Our next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shopping to you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Hey. What's up? I don't admit, it's kind of weird. Is there any way... could change it because like, okay because this cause, okay because this is based on so to clarify here this game was originally put out on the nintendo switch and for the nintendo switch the 
XF button is the A button, which is where the circle button is. But is there any way to change? Uh, frame rate graphic frame rate. You can't change the buttons, okay. Anyway. Uh, hey. <laughs> month of month. <laughs> hmm? Oh the Kemi no. get our stuff from oh that's back all right welcome to the velvet room the gears of fate turn yet again bringing you close to calamity once more while your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown. By nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead, and watch over you through your journey. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. <laughs> Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. So she knows of her desires too. Interesting. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. So does this mean that the persona fuse two personas to gain a new one? Please select the persona to acquire. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Alright, so it's last time. Let's do this. Add persona you. you'd like. Be born anew. So what is she holy cow? Interesting. You've tapped in 
into a new power. Oh. So it seems that Arsad can't be. You wish to strengthen it? Okay. How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. Huh. So our sin is permanently bound to us now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, something just occurred to me. Is everybody going to go back to how... You wish to browse the entry? Please take a look. Is this okay? You may take it with you. So... Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. I will always be by your side. Until next time. Farewell. So then how... So then does everybody else's personas... So no, wait. We saw with Skull his persona went back to Jack. No, not Jack, Captain Kidd. So, that would mean that they all went back to their original personas, not their, not their, um, evolved forms. Really? Let's head back. Yeah, we need to get other stuff. How do we get our stuff back? The airsoft shop's closed. The Kemi Clinic's shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. Guess we gotta find some other stores. And then seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah, check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No problem. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, come on, it was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I got it. Please wait. Hmm? Got what? Hello? Expedited delivery! What the heck? Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Uh... Whoa! Nah. Well, someone should open it. <laughs> Gee, this is your doing! Open it! <laughs> me. <laughs> Gee, this is your doing. Open it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, someone should open it. <laughs> what? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. Is that real? Holy shit, what have I done? <laughs> yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. 
That's real gold. What? No way. How? Wait, is that real? Wow. Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> How? That needs to go to the police. Right away. Oh, wait. They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay. Everybody? All right. Did that solve your problem? Uh, how? I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Futaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. Send it back. Send the other thing back! <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> Hello, expedited pickup. Thank you for choosing our services. I'm relieved they took it back, but oh, that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez. Uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? Seriously. One's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. <laughs> Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? I guess so. A bloody gold bar. An actual gold bar. Send the thing back! Send it back? <sighs> okay. I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Wow. Well, that was a ride, but I guess it turned out okay for us. Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. Yay! What are you looking for today? Actually, before that, before that, before that. So actually, I am going to take a break because it is late and I want to go to sleep. <laughs> so.
So I am going to pick this up tomorrow. Just this. And we're going to finally do this. So far this has been a very interesting game. I'm very looking forward to the actual beat and bones of this. So, later.